Hello. Today I would like to show you one of the best terminal blocks that I'm using everywhere and we are going to cross compare it across a cheap Chinese copy. Let's first take a look at the genuine one. We got all sort of markings. That is a company logo. And there is a model number just in case you would be interested. And what's the difference? The difference is that you do not have a screw. You got this lever and you put your wire and you close it down. There is a ridiculous amount of force that you have to use it to undo it. Like opening two of them at once. Yeah, it's barely, barely possible to do. There is a lot of force required and that's perfect because this is not going to be some kind of uh, floppy, floppy connection. So what you are going to do, you're going to remove a wire and you are going to insert it and close down. And that's all. You've got a very good solid connection. And each of the terminal is like separated. It have a own spring and latch, and that allow you to mix a cross diameter of a wire. So you can connect a beefy wire with a smaller one, and there is no problem. And I'm saying that there are models that do not have this latch and you just insert the wire. And I've got a problem because if you put one big wire and one smaller wire, they were like the, some kind of tab inside was uneven and there was no tension for the smaller wire. So yeah, I do not recommend. I've got a fire hazard with them, but that one absolutely perfect. And just in case you need to you need to make an adjustment, you just open it, pull your wire, and as you can see, it's fine. Nothing wrong with it. You can make a rearrangement. I'm using them everywhere and they are working perfect. You see how much force I have to use it. Very good. I absolutely in love with that. And here we've got our Chinese copy. In a very generic package. First of all, we cannot see the company logo. We do not have all the markings. There you can see the maximum wire gauge that can be fitted inside. Here we've got some insulation markings. 4 kV, 32 amps, 250 volts nominal. And first test is what kind of retention do we get because that's a most critical part the retention is lower there is no that amount of force and that will be directly compared to how strong it hold of a wire let me make a cross compare of how much force you need to use to pull it. 
all that is that was that is good that was a copy yeah no, I would say that's exactly the the same or uh, very similar absolutely no possibility of accidental disconnect vibration no way it's not going to undo by itself a lot of insulation so the terminal block is there this is the insulation looks very good let's crack them open to so just make a good cross compare maybe i will be able to put a screwdriver there let me find one okay i spent like a 10 minutes trying to crack it open from the this is the genuine one this is the, the clone and it looks like exactly the same except of one thing and here i can see a color that's similar to the copper and on that one i cannot see that i cannot see this i was thinking about making a measurement of the resistance of the contacts but i found out that is so fluctuating depending how it squeezed the wire then it won't tell us absolutely anything useful so what do i think about that i believe that this is actually quite good quite good copy and for a low voltage and for a low current applications maybe not for the 32 amp but for a lower one i'm definitely going to give them a try because they look a pretty pretty decent so yes this is the compare of the genuine and the knockoff so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye